Welcome to Mega Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today we are going to open up a BAM box for the month of February. It just went past my head. Oh, I'm a little okay. dare devil. That's it. I didn't want to go past your head. Oh. <laughs> I tried my best. Welcome to Mega Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today in the review room we got another BAM box. Say BAM. For the month of February, recently I've been getting overstressed with the subscription boxes, so hopefully Bambox rips us out of this crippling depression from subscription boxes. Let's go. First thing first. Ooh, we got some black. What's the first pin? What do we got? What do we got? A gun. A gun? No guns in this house. We're anti-guns. No, except when you want to shoot. A water oh. gun. I'm really not anti-gun. I love guns. Uh, yeah, it's a super soaker. Look that's at my like hair. An, <laughs> that's like a classic old school super soaker, uh, for real. Oh, wait a minute. This is the 90s box. I totally forgot. And I never remember the themes. Never. But I remember last month, uh, it had a paper saying this month was the 90s box. And I was excited for that. So... Let's see what's in it. No, let me grab it. I already grabbed it for you. <laughs> I saw something that was squishy and red, and I figured it's going to her. Rip it open. What is it? It's a beanie baby. I think those were the yeah those were no, it's a, pig. A, a craze in the nineties. Yeah, but it's called a beanie baby. Oh, got a little red pig. That was one thing I remember hearing about. That it was sold out everywhere. Everyone was trying to find them. <laughs> but I didn't care. I was like 12. I couldn't care less about ew, that red butt out of my face. Don't throw it. I couldn't care less about a beanie baby. All right, next up, what do you got? Be careful with that. Looks like a poster. Johnny uh, Barnes. What do we got? We got Celebrity Fight Match. Ew. The Moon Base Melee. The Fight for the Mojo. Dr. Evil versus, versus Austin Powers. Wait. Uh, it looks like this is kind of an odd selection. I know Austin Powers came out in the 90s, sure, but I don't remember it being. I remember it being. It was popular, funny, but no more so than any other, uh, you know, comedy that came out back then. So that's kind of, uh, I don't know, that's kind of weird. Yeah, it helps if you don't shake it around. Just take, just open the damn box. You're never coming in here again, you said curse Just word. Just open the darn box. Oh, you already said the curse word, so I Open the box! <laughs> Dude, I can't get it out. Oh, that's it? I'm a little bummed out. Well, what do we got? Is that a spoon? Yeah. Ooh, I'm pretty. <laughs> no soup for you. I think what? the whole idea is the box and everything is supposed to be collectible. Uh, yeah, no soup for you. That is from a Seinfeld episode. It's gonna be too blurry, but yeah, no soup for you. There you go. Can you see it? Let me what just let me cover her gross face. No soup for you. Um, yeah, this this is a strange box. What is this? That is a hockey puck. Signed. Not a fan of hockey at all, so I have no idea who this is. Uh, Matt played and in... oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Who played? In the Mighty Ducks movie franchise. Oh, I recognize that face. Okay. So it's not hockey, but it's from the Mighty Ducks. Now, the Mighty Ducks was cool. Sure. Um, I don't know. That's a tough one. That's, I love the Mighty Ducks growing up. That's a tough one. Let me look at this because this is a really strange box. The Bam Box Parody Pins 90, 90s edition. You could get the Super Soaker. You can get some Kicks and a Furby. So glad I didn't get the Furby. You got Beanie Babies from the 90s, commons, and rares. The Beanie Babies back then were like the blind bags of today. Hey. You can have the official hockey puck signed by Matt uh, Doherty. I hope I said that right. Doherty, Doherty. And then the Bam Box exclusive celebrity fight match posters. You got the Austin Powers. You got the Saved by the Bell. That would have made a lot more sense, I feel. And then the Matrix. Yeah. Uh, hey. And then the Seinfeld. Listen, here's my only issue with the box, though, is here's some things like Seinfeld was popular, but 
I don't. Maybe it's just me. I don't. I don't hear Seinfeld and think the '90s solely. You know, Saved by the Bell probably. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep sitting here saying um um um. I probably think, in my opinion, for me personally, this is the worst BAM box uh, I have ever received. It was just a complete fail. I'm probably yeah. I don't know. This is rough. Like for me, this is like no good. Like no good at all. Not even close. Uh, I remember when we got the Barbie head from Seven. I thought that was clever as heck, you know. But this uh, no suit for you thing. I think this is terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. It's they just printed the quote. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't like the box. I'm reading too much into the spoon thing. But yeah, this like entire this box is but I like the, a bad um, idea in my opinion. Uh, it doesn't. If you would have said the theme is a surprise and then given me this box. I probably would have said sitcom or something, you know, like entertainment. I don't know. I wouldn't think of the 90s. Not at all. Not even close. All right, guys. In like a month or so, I'm going to be sending out some emails when I get some free time to some of these subscription boxes. I might pick one or two that we really like to keep, but the others, I'm just going to say, hey, thanks for, uh, you know, thinking of us, but I don't think the subscription boxes are a good fit for this channel. Let me know what you guys think uh, about that, you know, making that move on this channel, because the subscription boxes started as a, a fun thing to do with one box someone sent us to say, hey, you know, open this on camera, uh, joking around with my daughter doing it. Now we got a few boxes, and my inbox is flooded with a whole bunch of other subscription services, Some I never even heard of before that uh, also want us to open the boxes but I, I more and more I, I just don't want to go down that path uh, as far as reviewing them nine times out of ten they're just no good you know for the money you pay uh, it's all clearance stuff now the BAM box and the horror block Skybound's mega box those are some I hope I'm not missing one those are some of the better boxes even being the better ones usually Bambox has hit a couple rough spots. This wasn't good. Just let me know what you guys think. Thoughts and opinions in the comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.